Hi guys, so you lot have been asking me some very interesting questions. This is my time to talk to you all things too hot to handle and about me. Let's go. So, the first question is, was the show scripted or actually real? The show was real. <laughs> I'm telling you, there's no doubt about that. I mean... When you go into the sh into a show like Too Hot to Handle, you need to be prepared that you are literally walking into a house with 10 other different personalities. You need to be real yourself so you don't get into arguments. And if anything comes across badly, at least you're just being yourself and you're not pretending to be someone else. Um... We had cameras everywhere, we had mics everywhere, and there was no one telling us um, to say this or to say that. Like, you always have a choice when you go onto reality TV um, whether to answer certain questions or not. So, for me, I didn't ever say anything that I didn't want to say, and I was just being me. Second is, how did I get scouted? Okay. So I was on Instagram and someone messaged me saying, does any of your friends, any of your friends single? And at the time, um, I was single, but just before that, I was actually in a relationship. So I knew this car star from a previous show that I'd done. Um, it was like just a hair wars show about someone doing your hair. And like, I was just a model. It was like a, a show that I'd done before in the past. And... She messaged me because I was in a relationship and she said, oh, are your friends um, single and are they fit? And I was like, I'm actually single now. She was like, oh my God, okay, um, I'm going to drag you in. We're going to have an interview. Then we're going to have a Skype call. Uh, the process for me was really daunting because I thought, oh my God, I don't know what I'm walking into. We didn't know it was going to be on Netflix. We didn't know it was going to be called Too Hot to Handle. We didn't know that we couldn't have Hanky Panky on the show. We literally knew nothing. The only requirement was one, to be single and for two, to have a passport so you can travel. So I had both. I thought, Do you know what? count me in, I'm going, like, I was absolutely ecstatic when they said that I was going to be on, I was nervous, I remember first turning up to the villa and I was the first one in and they blindfolded me and they were like, right Chloe, you're going to walk in, three, two, go and I walked in and I was in these massive wedges and all I could think was, please do not fall over. Third question, did you break the rules off camera? Okay, so there was no opportunity for us to do that. Like, trust me, I wanted to plenty of times. There was cameras everywhere. There were cameras um, in the showers, not in the showers, but like outside the showers looking in. Um, you couldn't get away with it. And there was mics everywhere. So there was mics in the bed. So me and Nicole one night, we looked behind us and I thought what is that blue fluffy thing hanging out of the bed? And we looked at it and it was like a tiny little microphone sticking out of the bed because you have to take your mics off when you go to bed just in case you choke yourself, health and safety. And when you lay there, if you talk, that's a whisper, a whisper um, what's it called? Microphone. So if you whisper, it can still hear you. So no, the answer is you cannot get away with hanky panky on the show. Did you feel insecure on the show? Okay, so knowing that I'm quite an outgoing person and not everyone's going to like me, I'm fine with that. Like, I know that I'm a nice person. That's enough for me. And what you guys have seen is an exaggerated version of my personality because they're not going to show you me sitting down and actually having a rest from bouncing off the walls 24-7. Um... But I mean, I feel like I got portrayed nicely on the show and everything that I wanted to get across come across on the show. And I did feel insecure around all of the girls sometimes. So I put quite a bit of makeup on during the day, even if it was scorching hot weather, I would just top my makeup up with some um, setting powder. So yeah, I coped with that by just saying to myself, you are enough. Like you're on the show. Um... You're a nice person and you're honest and real with everyone. And if, if someone doesn't like you on the show, then that's their problem. It's not yours. Fourth question. 
do I have any fillers? Okay, so I really wanted to talk to you guys about this because I don't, I don't know if I recommend fillers, um, because they are really painful. And I only got, um, I got my lips done just after coming out of the retreat. And the first time I got them done, they went wrong. Um, she injected into, I don't know if it was her fault, but she injected into the bottom, bottom lip, and she put the filler in without um like retracting the needle to see if it was in a vein and she actually kind of like just nicked the vein and put filler in it so my lip turned white um I had to take an aspirin she was massaging my lips for like an hour like I had to stay there for an hour two hours it was really scary because I actually thought my lip was going to fall off um I did end up going to A&E because I wanted to see if there was filler in my artery or in my vein in my lip um but it wasn't, it's fine, my lip's still on, so yeah, I've kind of, I went to someone else after that and said like, can you correct my lips, like I I want them a little bit bigger, and she put a mill of filler in, so I've had like a mill and a half overall, so I do feel like I'm more confident with having my lips done, however, it is a risky process, you're not always going to be, um, having your lips done and it turning out perfect like you need to understand the risks because it was a really scary time for me I wouldn't recommend it however if you do want to get your lips done um do what makes you happy and they are a little bit too big I know I am gonna get them dissolved um after quarantine lifts so some of you will be happy to know I will be going back to my natural self I think it was just something that I wanted to try um and just see like because it's reversible you can take the filler out you can dissolve it and and yeah um other surgeries I've had done so I have had a breast augmentation um I, I was an A I was really small and I thought you know what I just want a little enhancement um I didn't go too big I went from A to a C so I only jumped up two cup sizes I didn't want like the big barbie breasts um I still wanted to like remain natural but not natural if you know what I mean so the next question, how has dating, how has my dating changed now? Okay, so I haven't really dated since the show. I, I mean, I've, I've been with a couple of people. Um, the first one didn't really end well, but I will touch up on that on another video. Um, to be honest, I feel like it has changed me because I respect myself more and when you respect yourself as a woman and you're full of like independence like you you know your worth and you won't let a guy treat you like shit do you know what I mean so if a guy has like shouts at me and like tells me to f off then I'm like no jog on I'm no just next question so did you steal Francesca's bikini? Okay, so I will tell you the story. Um, so after I found out that Francesca kind of led Corey to a date and kind of accepted it and then kind of like let him down when she was on the date, um, I obviously told her that I didn't want to talk to her because I needed to cool down and I was done with the drama. I was just really upset. Um, I would have been the same off camera as well. Um, I mean, if any of my friends done that to me and didn't tell me or confront me first, I still would have been really upset. And um, I'm just glad that I kind of stood my ground with that and just let her know that she did upset me. So the next day when I watched this episode, I was like, oh my God, she's just called me a little what is going on like we got gifted bikinis and they were all in a box and we were wearing the different bikinis like every day i only bought like 40 bikinis so because everyone else is wearing them as well i kind of run out and in this box there was bikinis like everywhere um francesca's wardrobe was opposite mine so it wasn't like her bikini was next to my wardrobe but it was like near the box where her wardrobe was open so i picked up the bikini because it was sparkly of course and i thought oh my god this is gorgeous not knowing it was francesca's because she hadn't worn it yet um i put the bikini on not knowing it was hers no one actually told me it was her bikini she didn't actually come up to me and say clone like, that's my bikini what are you doing um but yeah she kind of slated me behind my back which i was a bit annoyed to see but i mean we're still friends so that's fine but i did not steal francesca's bikini i thought it was a gifted one 
Uh, next question. How do I feel about Nicole dating Bryce? Okay, so honestly, Nicole is my best friend. That is not fake. Like, I met her on the show. We were best friends on the show. There were so many bits that you guys didn't see um, for obvious reasons. Like, they weren't juicy enough. Um, it was just me and her having a chat, having a cuddle, like spooning in bed, um, just like best friends do. Obviously, she was there for me through Corey and um, everything else. And it's continued to stay like that outside of the retreat. So me and Nicole actually are planning on moving in with each other. And yeah, I think you guys need to just watch the reunion show that's coming out on Friday because it is actually coming out and it's done via Zoom. There's loads of fun games and loads of questions that you guys still want the answers to and they will be in the reunion show. So for now, I'm going to let you guys go. Hopefully I've answered as many questions as possible. I just want to say thank you so much for all of the support and I'll speak to you soon.